judge. Do you understand? Yes. That's a really good idea considering you still have this pending case. Now, you may get a judge that, you know, is going to believe everything, maybe doesn't read everything. You just told me she never paid the money. You paid it. Correct. That's what you told me. This is what you wrote in your answer. Ashley never loaned me any money for bail. I had mentioned to her that I was concerned about making my next bail payment, and the next thing I knew, I found money in my glove compartment. I tried to give it back to her, but she had refused to take it and insisted that I use it to pay my bail. That's all correct. Would you like to see that this is what you signed? I just, before you say anything. No, thank you. That's what you signed. That's a lie, Your Honor. Sure. I have to... sure. <laughs> What's a lie? I just agreed with you. So why would you... About the glove box. I have a bank statement right here. Fix those two things for me, sir. There's nothing to fix. That's all correct. What's all correct? Everything that's written down on that paper. That's written down in the paper, so she paid your bail. She didn't pay my bill. She did leave money in my glove box, but I didn't pay my bill with that money. Oh, you mean you took money and you exchanged the money. You're a real smart guy. Okay, now I know who I'm dealing with. Great! I knew I would find out quickly who I was dealing with. Who are you? His girlfriend. His girlfriend. You have another girlfriend. You, you people must be idiots. He has a felony domestic violence where he got $50,000 bail. What are you doing? Are you people out of your mind? Are you just dull-witted? $50,000 bail. Do you know how badly it must have been alleged that he hurt this former girlfriend? Do you have any clue? Duh. You two. Didn't you ask the question? Didn't you say to him, what are you on bail for? No, I just never asked him. You never asked him? I should have, but I did not. She knew. The first thing that I would ask somebody if they say, I'm, up, I'm coming up a little short on bail. Bail! What are you kidding? <laughs> bail for me? Oh, I got a speeding ticket. Oh, well, that, they get, let, it, let him at least lie to you. But not even to ask, you have to be a dummy. It's $200. Now, Mr. Wade, I don't think that there's any issue that you should suspect that I like you in any way. I want you to get that for me. Now, the plaintiff also gave you all the money. And I want you to tell me what you know about buying cars. A lot. A lot. Great. Most women don't know a lot about buying cars. Would you say that you know more than this one knows about buying cars? Definitely. Would you say you know more than what this one knows about buying cars? Most definitely. You knew more about what Miss Henderson knows about buying cars? Of course. She was in the market for a car because hers was not reliable. And she says that she gave you money towards a car to purchase for her. And in total, she gave you $2,500? Yes. In two different payments, $2,500. $1,500 once and then 1000 Actually, it was three payments. The first payment was 1000 And then two days later, I paid him another 500 And then about a month later, I paid him another $1,000. Now, why did you pay him this money in three payments? Because the first time, I was just trying to get a vehicle, and I gave him $1,000, and I asked him if that was enough. And Do you need to find a vehicle for you? Yes. Because he's so smart. Yes. And then that was enough, and then he showed me a vehicle, and he told me if I paid $500 more that he would be able to get the title for this car. And when he went and said that he paid the guy the money, he never got the title. And so then right there, I knew that was a red flag, that he didn't pay me. That's like